This series aims to inspire teachers and community center managers to apply information technology in their teaching and learning environments. This is St. Ansgar's Combined School, a co-educational day school located in Nanseria, Gauteng, near the Crocodile River. This school is a Telcom Foundation supercenter and has 25 computers networked to a central server. The computer laboratory is mainly used for lessons. Educators use computer-based resources to teach subject-specific lessons. St. Ansgar's has an active soccer program, which has a near-obsessive following amongst the school community. Besides the first team, which gets a lot of attention, there are also many other age group teams. The coach for the under-14 team, an educator at the school, wants to maintain motivation amongst his players and create greater awareness of his team in the school community. To do this, he wants to create individualized certificates, which he hopes to hand out at the end of the season. He is also hoping to draw greater support to matches by creating a simple poster, which he can put up in the corridors as well as near the tuck shop. In the past, one would have needed experts to create such posters and certificates, and it would have been at a great expense. Today, the computer, DTP programs, and color printers place the control of all these skills in the hands of the ordinary computer user at a fraction of the cost. Microsoft Publisher is one example of what is known in computer circles as a DTP program or desktop publishing program. We can use the desktop publisher to do posters, certificates, business cards, invitations and flyers. The DTP package allows you to position your text the way you like and also the images so that they can look professional. When creating certificates and posters, it is important to maintain a consistent look, which is the club or society's corporate identity. MS Publisher makes it easy to achieve a consistent image by supplying some ready-to-use templates. I made this poster to promote a certain team, the soccer team. I used the colors of the team. They are using the two colors. Then I included this logo in order to show that it's for a soccer. Now let's watch Mrs. Mako create the certificates and posters for the school coach and learn how to make your own posters or brochures. The version of Publisher we will be using in this episode is MS Publisher 2003. In order to start using Microsoft Publisher, you need to click on the Start button in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen and from the pop-up menu, select Programs or All Programs according to your operating system. Then select Microsoft Office and then from the third sub-menu, Microsoft Publisher. You are now looking at the opening screen of Publisher and the first choice that you need to make is what type of publication you want to create. In this case, you should choose Publications for Print from the list on the left-hand side of the screen. When you click this, you will see that another list appears. Choose Award Certificates from the list by clicking on it. A number of samples will appear on the right-hand side of the screen. Have a look through these examples, keeping in mind that you can change the colors, fonts, and graphics. What you are looking for is the desired layout. Select the second one called Blocks and Line Certificate. You will see that the layout you have chosen appears on the screen before you.
the flower is not fitting for a sports team, so that has to go. This is a simple procedure. Simply right-click the flower and select Change Picture and Clip Art in the following menu. The Clip Art window will appear on the left-hand side of the screen. In order to find the soccer player logo that Mrs. Mako chose as the corporate image for the soccer team, you will need to do a search. To do this, type in the word soccer in the search field and then select Go. Right-click on the clip art you want and select Insert or simply click on the image and you will see that the flower has been replaced by the soccer man you have chosen. You are now able to customize the wording on the layout by clicking inside the text boxes and replacing the existing text with appropriate wording. At this stage, leave the recipient's name blank. You will only want to enter this name once you are ready to issue the certificates. You should now have a professional-looking certificate on your screen. Now create a poster. Start the process all over again. Click File from the menu and select New. Use the default setting, Quick Publications, again. Look on the right-hand side at the example layouts. Stick to the identity that you have created for the certificates by clicking on Bars Quick Publication. Mrs. Mago chose this one because it uses the same color scheme and fonts as the certificates you made earlier. Remember, uniformity is important if you want to create a corporate identity for the soccer team. The sunset picture has to go, since it is inappropriate for a soccer team. The logo of the soccer player that was used for the certificates should be used again. The soccer player logo will tie the two publications together, thereby strengthening the team's image. Right-click on the sunset picture and select Change Picture, then select Clip Art from the menu that follows. The Clip Art search window will appear on the left of your screen. Type in the word Soccer in the search field again and click on the Go button. Once the soccer man appears, either right-click the picture and select Insert or simply double-click on the picture so that the sunset is now replaced by the soccer man. Now it's time to change the wording. In order to do this, click inside the two text boxes and type in the new text. For example, in the first box, type in under 14 soccer. It is quite big and is guaranteed to grab attention. In the second box, add in details about when and where the match takes place and who the opposition are. Remember, you can also insert a heading on the bars at the top of the page. To do this, click on the bar you want to put a heading into and begin to type. You can format the size and color of this type by making use of the fields in the formatting toolbar. For size, highlight the text and then choose the font size selector drop-down and select the size you want. In order to change the color, Highlight the text and then go to the text fill box at the top of the screen to choose the color that you like. Give the poster a little humor by adding a speech bubble. Find the auto shapes icon that is located on the left hand margin and select it. Now click on Callouts and select one of the different styles of speech bubbles offered in the drop-down menu. Your cursor should turn into a crosshair. Position this near your soccer player where you would like the speech bubble to appear. Click, hold and drag and you will be able to draw a speech bubble next to your soccer player. Once your bubble has appeared, you can position the speech bubble stalk by clicking on the stalk and dragging the yellow anchor close to the player's mouth. Add text to the speech bubble by clicking inside the bubble and starting to type. 
Remember, you can make your font bigger by selecting the text and then choosing the size from the font size drop-down box on the formatting toolbar. Once you're done, you'll want to print out your masterpiece. To print the poster, which is already open on the screen, select the print icon from the standard toolbar. To call up the previous publication, simply select Window from the menu at the top of the screen. From the drop-down list, select Publication 1. You will need to insert the player's name before printing and then change it and insert the second player's name before pressing the print icon again. This will have to be done for each team member. With all this in mind, you should now be in a good position to create your own posters or certificates for your sports society or community club.